I'm here with Russell Simmons. Russell brought hip hop and urban culture into the mainstream. How did that segue into a love for yoga, a spiritual pursuit for you? Well, it, you know, sometimes you go to work and you start to uh, build things that you think you want and you learn that those things aren't the source of your happiness. And so you slow down just enough to catch on to um, maybe more important things. And what yoga is, is the idea, yoga is union with God. That's right. Well, That's originally right. was to bring people closer to enlightenment, right? That's right. Well, it's the science of enlightenment. So the asana practice is it's good for, it's, it's a way to, to see life, you know, no matter how difficult. Well, how has the physical practice changed you? How has well, it benefited you? Well, What's it first, done for your body? The physical practice, I mean, a very strenuous, aggressive practice that I go through every day. So that helps a lot. You know, you sweat like a slave and you, <laughs> you lose some weight, but really you're longer and thinner. You know, people are, can see yes. the difference. If you practice yoga every day, people can see it in your face. So anyway, the idea again is this, you connect the breath. Okay. After asana, the next thing after asana, is pranayama, it's, con it's life force. So the closest thing you have to the Holy Spirit and that, that's physical is the breath. Yes. So you connect the breath to each pose. You know, so I, I mean, uh, let, let me show you. You, you want to show me? I want to show you the simple, okay. the simple uh, sun salutation. The Very idea, good. for instance, look. What are you doing? Okay. So here we are, right? And you would, you, you're a mountain pose, Tadasana. And, and, you, and you, you back and down and you up in here and the bundas, the stomach is in. So actually you're really working when you're standing here. Okay. But your breath, it's called ujjayi breathing. So the breath, warrior breath. And so in and out is the exact same length. And maybe you'll- Just Show me this way, Russell. So it, face me, why don't you face, face you? me? Show me. Yeah. Okay, here we go. That's how you made. I can hardly even go all the way down. And you would step or jump back and you would come down. So what you're doing, every pose, every pose is connected to the breath. So just the length of the inhale and the exhale. Show me again. Well. This is a sun salutation. So what you're doing is you're connecting your breath and you're you know and you're cleansing the breath, and it's kind of um it's very aggressive. Very yes. Aggressive. Yeah. And if you do that for an hour and a half, you know, right, right. You, it's just very cleansing for the body and for the spirit. If your mind is on, see, you're not doing yoga. If you're thinking about, like, you know, all the distractions in the class. You know, when you're doing yoga, when you're thinking about giving, you're thinking about compassion and love or God, that's when you're practicing yoga. You're practicing a state of being, an attitude. A state an of being and an attitude. Yes, that's, the, that's what you're practicing. And so when you leave the yoga studio, or the ashram, or whatever it is you leave. After practicing, you go out in the world and you spread yoga. They say if you come to yoga, then you've done it in a previous lifetime. And if you get addicted to it, it's, you know, it's, it's your path. I mean, there are, many, there are many roads to God. There are as many as there are people. Yes. And yoga is one shortcut. They're all shortcuts. And yoga is one of them. You know, before we finish, tell me more about your beads. Oh, these beads, it's a very funny story. These particular beads were given to me by a businessman by the name of Al Malnick, who lives in uh, Miami. His son, his Jewish son, married a princess Huda in the holy city of Mecca. A Muslim princess married a Jewish businessman's son. And the king of Saudi Arabia gave not these beads, because these are duplicates, these beads to Al Malnick. And now Simmons Jewelry makes them Beautiful. and they're available for sale. But, anyway, but these beads represent to me world peace. Yes. And that's why I carry them because, you know, it's such an interesting and exciting story to, to hear that a Jew would go to the holy city of Mecca and marry a Muslim, right? And that kind of, that's a beautiful story. And so we want more of that and these beads encourage that in my mind. So You're, I carry them. And, and the idea of the prayer beads, you know, yep. to remember, to remember. Healthy Living now has a new home where you can get fresh ideas, entertaining content, and practical tips to help you squeeze the most out of life. Lime, healthy living with a twist.